Hello cubers around the world, welcome back to Dual Wisdom. This is the third part of the series of how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the Friedrich method. In this video I'm going to teach you the OLL that is orienting the last layer of the Rubik's Cube. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so there's a reason why this OLL is known as a two look OLL. And the reason for that is you have to learn two algorithms to, you know, orient the top layer of the Rubik's Cube. Now, one case is that you'd be too much lucky and you directly stumble upon a case. The other one is you for some see something like this. This is known as line. Now, the way to solve the line is the algorithm as you can see directly on the screen. And to solve it, it's pretty simple. It's like just this. That's it. While solving the OLL, the first thing that you need to have is a cross and that's how you make the cross using the algorithm. Now there are other cases as well because you won't actually always find a line of course. So the next case can be something like this. Okay, in this case you, you don't have to look at all these yellow dots, you just have to look at the cross. And in the cross, there's nothing else but just a single dot in between. The single center piece is the only yellow piece in the cross. Nothing else. So this case is of course known as the dot. Now in the case of the dot, uh, the thing that you have to do is, well, just follow the algorithm presented in front of you in, on the screen and, you know, just put it up on the cube. So let's get started. cross. Now there's one more thing that can happen while you know before having the cross um, directly and that is the L. Now let's look at the L. I think this is the way. Yeah. Now this is the L that you might have when you are done with the F2L. So you have to make sure that the L you don't have to put the L like this, you have to put the L in the shape of an arrow that's trying to go towards the probably the northwest. Yep, the northwest or the top left corner. So yeah, that's that's the direction the arrow is pointing at. So now to solve that you have to follow the algorithm presented on the screen and that is as Okay, so again you have the cross and those are the only three cases that you can find before the cross. Now after you have the cross, you will find seven other cases that come under the two look PLL, two look OLL, sorry. And uh, let's start with the first case then. The case that I have right now in front of me is known as the bow tie. Now I think that name is really interesting because this actually looks like a bow tie. Now that I look at it from that angle and um, yeah so this case is or can be easily solved by algorithm now every single case in OLL either in two look or in full OLL can be solved by OL, uh, by algorithms for so for the people who were like you know too angry or like agitated by the fact that they had to actually use their brains for F2L you don't need to worry now because everything after this has to do stuff with algorithms so if you are good with learning things and if you can process at really high speeds and remember the algorithms at the right time this is the you know time while solving the cube that you are going to love so this case that I have with me right now is the bow tie and uh, I think the name really suits it because it somewhat looks like a bow tie now that I look at it. So in this case of the bow tie, the algorithm that we are going to use to solve it is F inverted, small r, U, R inverted, U inverted, small r inverted, F, R. While you're learning the algorithms, I'd advise you guys to, you know, just drop off the inverted signs because 
it makes it difficult for you to learn the algorithms. Instead, just remember the letters. That means F R U R U R F R. That makes it a bit more easier to remember. And if you practice the cube a lot, I'm, I think that you might even not need to remember the algorithms. Your fingers will do the stuff themselves because they'll remember the movements. For this case to take place, we first have to hold the cube like this. That is the uh, white, uh, the yellow dots two yellow dots, that is one here, one here. The one to the right side, because when, when we hold it like this, this dot comes to the left side. The dot to the right side should come in front, that is, it should be facing towards you. Now, you hold it like this, and you follow the algorithm. So, um, that solved the, you know, the the top layer in one go. Now let's try another example. Okay, so now we have another case. This case is known as the chameleon, and I think the naming is really interesting because, yeah, because you know, if you consider these both yellow dots as eyes, this somewhat really is like a chameleon because, yeah, here's the body, here's the face, and the eyes are in opposite directions. So, yeah, the naming is really interesting, I'd say. So, this is also really easy to solve. To solve this uh, algorithm, the thing that you have to do is small r, u, r inverted, u inverted, small r inverted, f, r, f inverted. Or if you just drop off all the inverted signs and if you ignore the small r and big r's, that make it r, u, r, u, r, f, r, f, or something like ru, ru, ruff, ruff, if you can remember it that way. <laughs> So in order to solve this case, you have to hold the cube in this position where the one eye of the chameleon is in the left side and facing towards you. So to solve this, you have to do the algorithm and follow it while turning the cube in all those directions. So that is R U R U R F R U. So yeah. So that's how you do it. So let's move on to the next example. So this is the next case. This is known as the anti-sune or anti Um To solve this case, the thing is that you have to notice that there is a plus with a yellow dot on the top layer. Now that one single dot will be at the top left corner if the piece of the placement of all the other yellow dots is as such that is every single yellow dot if they lie at the left side at every single side that is in this here and here as well so the algorithm to solve this is as such um, I'm gonna say it without the apostrophes so is R U R U R U 2 R so let's try to solve this case and it goes as such. R U R U R U 2 R. That's how it's done. Again we have the full yellow and you know, color top. So let's look at yet another case. This is the next case and this is called Sun. Now in this case the one dot that is at the top uh, the topmost layer top uh, most layer, the one yellow dot that is in the top most layer has to come in the bottom left corner that's a bit different than Antasyon. In this case we know when to put the yellow dot side, this yellow dot corner in the top left or the top bo uh, in the, or the bottom left by the simple fact that it's placed at the top left corner whenever the yellow pieces are always placed on the left side of the you know the cube whereas in this case it's actually directly the opposite so it is always on the right side whenever it's on the right side it's just Sion and as the name says whenever it's on the left side it's always anti Sion so yeah easy naming over there so uh, we have to hold it like such with the corner this yellow dot corner in the bottom left side so to solve this, we have yet another easy algorithm that goes uh, as such again without the apostrophes, and it is R U R U R U two R. So 
let's try to do this now. U R U R two R. It's a really easy algorithm again. So this solves the topmost layer. Okay, so let's look at yet another case. Okay, so this case is known as the symmetry cross. Symmetry cross basically because we have the cross in the center of the cube and uh, we have the symmetry of these chameleon eyes and these chameleon eyes on both the sides. So yeah, there is a symmetry, right? So yeah, again, really good sense of naming. So again, solving this is also really easy. Um, now to solve this, there's a, there's a really easy way for you to do it. The algorithm that goes to, like, you know, solve this is as such F R U R U R U R U R U R U F. Notice the, uh, you know, occurrence of R U R U repeatedly. Yes, that's the key. That's why this is one of the most easiest algorithms to learn. All you have to do is learn one F in the beginning and one F apostrophe at the ending. So let's try this. F R U R U R U thrice and then back. Yep. The side sword. So again, this one was easy. So let's try the next case, shall we? Okay, so this is the next case. Uh, the name of this case is uh, again really good sense of naming non-symmetry cross now the name is again obvious because in the previous case that I just told you guys the there was a cross in the middle and there was symmetry between the pieces there was two chameleon eyes on both the sides whereas in this case it's not so quite because on one side we have the chameleon eyes whereas on the other side we have the headlights so right no symmetry get it yeah okay so in order to solve the non-symmetry case we have to follow the following um, you know, algorithm and the algorithm is R U2 R2 U R2 U R2 U2 R I know a lot of 2's and U and R's over there but yeah it's difficult to say but easy to do now let's see how to do it let's try to solve this thing and here it goes that's how you do it so now that we have solved this um, let's now move on to the last case named headlights so let's do it so this is the last case and uh, its name is again really interesting headlights uh, basically because it resembles something like a car and these two yellow dots some appear to be something like headlights so yeah again now the reason that I am uh, keeping this as the last case is because this is the only case out of all of them that I think is the most difficult to remember if you look at it uh, like you know in one glance now let's take a look at the algorithm and the algorithm is as follows R2 D R U2 R D R U2 R I couldn't really make up a you know a pattern in the algorithm for you guys to learn it a bit easily but that's all you have to do like you know you just have to give it a read and feed it in your head there's there's no pattern in the algorithm it's, uh, in itself you probably will have to let your fingers learn the algorithm instead of your minds so um let's try to solve it using the algorithm okay according to the algorithm it's as such So um, that covers all of the OLL as we have studied all the cases. Um, and well, yeah, now if, oh, the only thing left for us to do is permutation of the last layer. That is, you know, keeping every single piece in the right place so that we have a perfectly formed cube. I'd say that, you know, they might appear to look really difficult to learn, probably, or might even appear to be you know impossible to learn to some people but believe me guys as I say in all of my videos just keep on practicing practice practice and practice and believe me even these obstacle like algorithms in your way of solving the Rubik's Cube a bit more 
faster will definitely be cleared away right in like you know a bit of time if you give it the right amount of time that it requires because everything requires time and even this would and believe me guys if you give it the right amount of effort this will be a piece of cake but thanks guys for staying till the end of the video i hope you liked it and if you did please click that subscribe button and give that like button a click now the next video is going to be the last in the series that is pll now pll is permutation of the last layer so now we have come so close to the ending please don't forget to check it out so guys Stay tuned!